Hi, welcome to topic 9 of the course on financial accounting. In this topic, I am going to introduce you to some techniques, some methods of inventory analysis and control. Understand that for any organization making full utilization of resources and also the efficient utilization of resources is highly important. For any organization, the resources can range from monetary resources to non-monetary resources. Stock is such a resource and it becomes very important for a business, uh, be it manufacturing business or a trading business, to take care of its stock to manage its stock well so that the stock can be utilized to full to generate maximum amount of profit. On these lines, in this topic, we are going to talk about inventory as a resource and how the waste of inventory can be minimized, how the cost of managing the inventory should be minimized so that the business can earn the profit to its potential. The stock, the inventory can be you know, defined in various different ways depending upon what is the nature of the business. You could talk about inventory, uh, for example, for a manufacturing business, it could be raw materials. On the other hand, for a retailer, the stock can be the stock of finished goods that he or she uh, sells. Also, there can be work in progress. So all I'm saying is the notion, the concept of inventory basically represents a collection of items which are used to either convert, uh, which are used to either, you know, in the production process or which are used to be sold. But the concept is, the basic concept is that you use this stock of goods uh, to further sell and make profit. The nature of uh, stock, you know, take for example a manufacturing business, uh, the business has to maintain sufficient quantity of various kinds of raw materials in the business so that the production process is not halted, is not stopped because of lack of one of the many raw materials which are required to produce the end product. Therefore, the business has to protect against this uncertainty. There are, you know, not only the uncertainty of availability of stock, but there can be large number of other factors which may influence the production process as well. Therefore, the inventory is said to be an, an, a necessary evil. Uh, why is it necessary? Of course, we need you know, stock of goods to create the final product for a manufacturing business. But also, why is it an evil? Uh, it's evil in the sense that it incurs cost for a business. In order for a business to maintain a certain level of stock, you have to invest, uh, you have to purchase that stock from the supplier, you have to purchase the raw material from various suppliers. And when you purchase the stock, it's not yet sold. There is long production process that has to take place in order for raw material to be converted into finished product. During all this time, the business has invested, has blocked the money into the stock of raw material which is being processed. Therefore, in that sense, it is called an evil. Of course, you're going to sell off this uh, you know, stock by converting it into finished product and then you're going to make profit. But the question is, how much stock should you maintain? Maintaining too much stock would incur a lot of cost as you have to block money. And after you have blocked money, there are other costs that are involved. You have to look after the stock. You have to make sure the stock is insured. It is protected, put in a go down. There is security, you know, it should not catch fire and so on. So you have to take care of this stock as uh, well. Uh, plus, there are precautionary motives, you know, what if there is a lockdown, for example, uh, the goods are not allowed to move from place A to place B and you do not want to halt the production process, you have to make sure necessary level of stock is available within the premises, for example. So, you know, some precautionary motives for which you might want to maintain certain level of stock. So, you have to learn some techniques of stock management, inventory management and control. Also, there could be some speculative motives, you know, to take advantage of rising uh, prices, of course, within uh, the given regulations and laws. But there could be cases where you could, uh, you know, want to benefit monetarily from various uh, circumstances in the economy. 
So, you know, given this whole, you know, discussion on how stock maintaining it is necessary, but also it incurs some cost, how do we balance the two to make sure that, you know, the cash that is being blocked in the inventory uh, is actually yielding good benefits for the business. And that's where the inventory management uh, techniques come in uh, handy. Although inventory management can be a larger topic and can be discussed in great detail, in this course, we only you know, scratch the surface. I introduce you to uh, three, four different techniques of understanding how stock should be managed, should be ordered, should be maintained and so on, and should be valued. Uh, but there could be a larger uh, you know, discussion uh, on this topic uh, as well. So uh, the planning of the stock, the management of the stock, what does it uh, you know, involve? We are essentially talking about procuring the stock, so acquisition, and then storing the stocks, the storage of the uh, inventory, and then of course you know, selling it off uh, in time. So that is what uh, you know, typical process or various aspect uh, that are involved in the inventory management. And we are going to address that as we uh, move forward uh, in this uh, series of videos. So I'll see you in the next video where we talk uh, more specifically about one of the uh, you know, few techniques that we are going to discuss.